So I'm going to share with you a little bit of what's going on behind the scene when I do videos. This is one of my umbrella light, right? And it's nighttime outside. It's only 6.30, but it's already nighttime. And I need to paint my frame tonight. And I don't have enough light, one, to work and two, to show you. So I have the umbrella on top of my vanity and because it doesn't stay on the table because it's too wide for the tripod. It's basically being held back by the uh, pool string for the blind that's right behind. See that? Okay, so that was just me telling you it's getting crazy in here. Sophia here from mygreatchallenge.blogspot.com So you saw how crazy it is for me to try to do some kind of work when it's already past daytime and I had a lot of things to do today. In case you didn't see it yet, I am starting a whole Thanksgiving prep thing. So today I did day one, I had to go shopping, put the stuff in uh, you know, the uh, fridge and all of that. But I'm ready to paint this thing right here. That's what I'm going to do today. So uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, you can check down below. You'll see the whole series on my master bathroom makeover. And then you can look at my channel and all the other stuff. You just got to basically look over here. I think it's over here or it's over there. I'm not sure. I think it's here. Um, so you can subscribe to my channel and not miss the next episode. But right now, let me show you what I'm talking about and what I'm about to do today. So we are back in my shower and it's still very, very clean and out of focus. Um, I'm sorry about that. But basically today what I'm doing is painting this in white. This is an aluminum frame from an old 1960s um, shower thing panel. There used to be a door you can see here because that would stop the door from going back in. They removed the door and they put a shower rod. Now I already bought a new one for this that's white so I have to install this today. This I'm not doing today, it's got to get painted when I'm painting the ceiling here. But this frame here, the intent is to entirely spray paint it. And in the glass right here, I plan on doing a stencil on it. Um, I don't know yet what kind of stencil, I did not purchase anything yet. Uh, so this is uh, not being touched today at all. That's going to be part of another video. Today I'm just doing this part right here. If I have time, I'll do the back of it, which is this side right here. I don't know if I'm going to have time, so I may just do this one. But let me show you what kind of tools I'm going to use and the steps. So lately I've been going to Ace Hardware a lot. Um, not by preference, but only because they're much closer to me than the Home Depot. So I bought this 9 foot by 12 foot paper drop cloth and that's going to be used to mask the glass. I'm going to put it from edge to edge, top to bottom and then used here to mask this part and the one on the side and this side's here, same thing on the top so that when I'm spray painting I'm not going to have uh, spray paint all over. Um, I've got steel wool, this is grade one, see steel wool. What I'm going to do with the steel wool is that after I've washed my frame right here with the um, CLR and really really buff it clean so that I have good adhesion I'm going to just scrub it with the steel wool to give it a little bit of a grit and that's going to assist the spray paint in um, you know adhering better to the frame right here hopefully that's the theory now for paint I'm using this Krylon dual super bond this is paint and primer maximum rust protection ultimate adhesion and strength it, it works on metal wood plastic and laminate now they have it in a whole bunch of different colors right and it's fast drying indoor outdoor so that's good um no sanding and no priming i'm still going to sand only because i'm going to do a good job and i don't want to see this stuff flaking now i picked this it's bright white but it's not a shiny, it's not a gloss, it's not so my gloss, it's a flat. I think I'm going to like this better than a shiny, um, you know, surface. Only because I really don't want to see it. The goal here is to have this thing kind of blend in. Remember, this is going to be all bright white and, you know, be non-obtrusive or... Um, in your face when you walk in. It's already an ugly bathroom to begin with, well at least it still is because I didn't finish, you know, what I gotta do. So that's the goal. I'm going to prep 
this by cleaning it then I'm going to sand it with the steel wool then I have to install the whole uh, drop cloth and then I'll be ready to spray paint of course I am leaving the window open just in case you were wondering all right I'm starting um CLR you remember that's my old concoction water and CLR I'm just going to put it all over that frame and a little bit overlap on the glass I'm not doing anything with the glass today but I want to make sure I get any residue of soap doing the angle as well here because I'm painting that as well it's going to drip all over the floor that's all right I got a clean rag and all I'm doing is giving it a good clean putting some pressure on it because I want to make sure I really get all of the soap now again the Krylon paint that I picked says that it requires no sanding and no uh, priming but I still want to do a good job I don't want to see the paint scaling and peeling a year from now so next I have the steel wool and I'm going to use that to gently scratch the surface of my aluminum um, only because I really want the Kryolan paint to really bond onto the aluminum frame. Um, there's some folks who go as far as completely removing all of the shine and making them really really dull. Uh, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is just go over it and you got to apply you know a good amount of pressure and even though it doesn't scratch it like for instance I'm looking at it right now and I can tell you it's not scratching it what it's gonna do is that it kind of creates tiny little grooves on the aluminum frame and it's going to help the paint adhere to it a little bit better right here on top I don't know if you can see that but this some um, old paint from this part here when it was painted that have kind of gotten onto the uh, frame and the steel wool is removing it so I can tell that the steel wool is somewhat doing um, the job that I'm asking it to do which is sort of prepare my frame so I'm just going to do that around the entire frame and then I have to mask everything painters blue tape is what I'm going to use and right now I'm only going to put the blue tape where are my scissors hold on I'm using scissors to make really nice angles and right now I'm just putting it right on the edges and I'm pressing really really hard because the last thing I want is for any of the paint to go underneath it like this and once I have all of this with the blue tape I'm going to put the paper over it and then I'll blue tape that as well. I don't want to take any risk whatsoever of having some of that spray paint going on the glass. Even though with the steel wool um, I could probably remove it afterwards. But why work double when you can just do the job once? So I just got to make sure I'm really flush to the edges. like this okay so everything has been um, taped and then on the side here I don't know if you saw but um, this is my old nasty shower curtain I'm actually uh, putting it on the back of this glass panel here and I taped it with the um, uh, painters tape so that way I'm using that as a barrier to stop the spray paint from going inside the tub. I don't care about this thing, I've had it for five years, it's being changed anyway. And I bought a new uh, shower curtain, um, at least the liner that's white right here. I bought a new one, so once that's done, I'll replace it with this and I have the white one, um, you know, the rod I was just telling you about. So once I'm done with painting this, I'll just trash the whole thing. Now what I need to do is put the paper over this and over here at the bottom because the last thing I want, I don't care much about the tiles because remember the tiles I'm going to change, but I do um, care about the tub itself. So I'm going to cut pieces of this paper here which they uh, use as a drop cloth 
and I have to kind of figure out a way to put one over the glass here. Um, basically, I gotta measure it, so it's gonna go from here to here. So I gotta cut here for a certain length. Okay, I have my paper on and I put a triple layer of blue tape. You gotta think of it in terms of nuclear fallout tight, okay? Because I'm telling you, spray paint is super tricky. Once you spray it, it's amazing how much those little particles of paint and droplets will actually figure out a way to go into crannies you didn't even know existed. So when you remove your whole thing, next thing you know, you get those little like galaxy sprays of white paint and you don't want that. Um, not that I cannot remove it, but why give myself more work? So this is, in theory, super tight, okay? All right, so again, Krylon, we're gonna shake this thing. Okay, Whew. I think it's uh, it's good. Uh, I got the window open. It's fast drying. Let's start. I'm gonna start with the top. And again, this is the part where I have the uh, shower curtain. So let me go like this. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see a little bit better. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Okay, so it really stinks and this is coat number one and so far so good, but I do have some droplets. So what I'm going to do is grab a piece of tissue and kind of like get those droplets on the top right here before they get too big. Um, I'm definitely going to do a second coat, but when I have paint that's starting to gather and drip, I want to remove that before it's too late. I'm going to let this dry for about, I'd say 20 minutes. I have the, uh, whoop, okay. I'm going to let this dry for about 20 minutes. I have the fan in the back and the window open and um, I'll come back and I'll do a second coat and we'll see what it looks like. I just stopped the fan um, to show you where I'm at. It's real stinky in here uh so this is dry the first coat is and again this is a mat so i'm just going to take the camera of the tripod and show you where i'm at if i can find a little gizmo here come on oh it's right in front of me all right so this is what it looks like so far with one coat all right so it's white and it definitely is a mat i'm going to show you over here Hope you can see there are a little bit of defects here and there you know like little bubbles not bubbles but drips you see this one so I'm hoping with the second coat it's really going to disappear and then done all of that so what I'm gonna do is it's been 20 minutes and again this is dry right I'm just gonna go ahead and do a second coat and then if I feel like it I'll do a third coat um, only because I really really want this to be covered done and I did three coat which to be honest I think is too thick but this is where I'm at um, yeah it looks all right it's not a professional job that's all I can say spray paint is tough um, it really is because the minute you stick around with the spray a little bit too long you start having uh, drips so I'm gonna see if I can show you some of them you see some of the defects right here um, 
I'm not sure if they show or not but that's basically what's going on where you start getting like a little bit of a grooving where the paint itself is not super super flat so I'm gonna let this dry a good hour and I'll come back and remove the uh, tape so we'll see what it looks like when it's um, white I guess I guess I could remove this um, so I'll give you an idea of what the frame looks like when it's white it's not bad I mean you know it's better than what it was I'd rather have white with some defects than aluminum all right let's face it this was super hard and the result is somewhat worthy but if you're asking me my opinion don't do it and there's plenty of reason why you shouldn't do it one um, it's not that easy to do two you gotta really know what you're doing with the spray paint which apparently I don't and three I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to live with all the flaws that I see in this project because uh, there's a lot of them so I'm gonna show you what it looks like and you're gonna tell me from far away uh, what you think and I think it looks pretty good from far away actually so here it is and I replaced the um, shower curtain by the way um, cheapo rings for now this is just a kind of like a temporary type so anyway this is what it looks like so here it is in white so from far away it looks pretty good now here's the problem I had to recalk all of this here because when I pulled out the tape literally all of the paint was peeling off and I'm talking like peeling off in chunks so the caulk goes really really far in on this side not so much on the other side so you see I had to redo all the caulk here now there's some flaws here you see that that's terrible uh, this part right here not so bad this painted pretty good I'm happy with that I do have some paint um, that seeped through somehow but that's easily removable on the other side however this is uneven and you see like this is all uneven so what I'm gonna have to do in this part right here on top I actually did cock so what I'm gonna do to kind of like save the day not now is once I'm ready to do my uh, pattern here that I'm going to paint the little um, stencil I'll probably go over these areas here again with the cock to make them white um, because this is bothering me to see this black line granted it's also the seal on the inside but basically this is what it looks like so now it's dry we're gonna be able to use the tub tomorrow um, I think it's okay it looks great from far away I mean you really um, don't know that this was not meant to be white but when you start looking at it closely um, you can tell that this was something that was painted and that's what really really bothers me now how long is the paint going to last I don't know I really don't um, I have a feeling that this is not going to last too long so what I'm gonna do is that if the paint starts peeling off um, and it's easy to remove then I'll just remove it and figure out something else um, right now I just wanted this white I'm sure it's gonna last a couple of months maybe a year or two um, because we really don't do much in here other than showers so we'll see but other than that yeah I think it's okay looking I'm not crazy about I like the look but I'm not crazy about the job that I did so um, yeah so and this is a, a regular you know cheapo liner I think I bought at Target or whatever it's not plastic it's fabric so there's gonna be another um, shower curtain in front of it anyway um, yeah, I'm done for tonight. I'm gonna make dinner and edit a video and that would be it So you let me know what you think if you like it in white um, Again, I'm not sure if you want to dive into this take your time um, You know just like make sure you really do a good job with the first spray um, This is supposed to be a paint for metal so it should adhere but for some reason it feels rubbery I'm not sure why um, I don't know so that's where I'm at um, I still like the process and I like the way it looks so yeah give me a thumbs up if you like it um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you're new and I guess I'll talk to you later thank you for watching guys bye